I was gonna wear my strawberry hat in this video, but I can only find my bear one. I think it's over there. I'll get it because I'm like covered up my blanket and everything, and it's really cold in here. Here. Check them out on my Etsy, all that good stuff. Hello everybody! So today I'm super excited because today I'm going to be reviewing the Jeffree Star mystery box. Now I did not get the big box or the small box, I got the medium one. And here is the price of the box that I bought right here because I bought other items as well. I'm uploading a video on the Pink Religion palette if you're interested in that. You can check out my review of the tea, the honest thought, all on my channel. I'll link that video down in the description box below if you want to check it out. I'm also reviewing his concealer and a lip product on there. I'm wearing his concealer right now and it's actually really nice. Now a little bit of a disclaimer, I have already opened and looked in the mystery box. Before I could film this, my husband wanted to see my reaction when I opened it and things and I didn't want to film with him watching me and things because it makes me feel a little weird. I'm still really shy on camera and stuff, kind of. At least when other people are around, I'm still getting used to it. So I wanted to go ahead and let him have the first hand experience and now I'm going to be showing you guys what I got. So I'm still super pumped about what I got in the box though. It's really cool but I just want to let you guys know that I have already seen what's in Okay, I got the Halloween mystery box in the look. I have been dying to buy his mystery boxes ever since I first saw them come out. And we're going to be doing price comparisons of how much everything costs and to see if it's actually worth it to buy the box or to just buy the things individually that you want. So every time I pop up an item, we're going to pop up the price here in the corner. That's how this is going to work. So this is what the box looks like. It's really freaking cute. Now his was Halloween themed and I knew, I knew I had to get the Halloween theme. Yeah, it's super cool. It's got like little meat cleavers on it and stuff. Probably save the box and reuse it for, to store stuff in. Store my palettes in because if you didn't know, I'm getting ready to move. My husband and I just bought a house and we're in the process of getting all the paperwork cleared and we're going to be moving here soon. So if you guys want a house tour, comment down below and I will do that for you guys. So let's see. Uh, first things I'm going to pull out are these cards on top. You have the Jeffree Star skin coming soon. I'm really excited to see this. I think it's going to be like skincare product. Man, this man is branching out. Now, the thing I saw that I was so excited for when I saw he was releasing it, although I did not buy any of it, was the Jeffree Star pets release. Oh my god, look at this cover. I'm going to keep the pamphlet right here just for like little fun kicks and stuff because his Pomeranians are so freaking cute. So they did include just like a crap ton of tissue paper and I mean like a lot. Here you can see some of his tissue paper that came from the Pricked release. I thought about buying the Pricked palette, but to be honest, I didn't think orange would look very good on my skin tone, like all the things he had on there in that palette. But I did think it was a very beautifully designed palette, but I did not buy any of it. Sadly, I might later on, but right now this was my priority. I actually got this as my early birthday present and I <laughs> my husband's awesome. He got me this with my early birthday present and I'm absolutely in love with the things I got. So it was covered in that and then the black wrapping paper. And of course the box also had included, the black wrapping paper was the cover, the mystery box on the inside uh, because my Pink Religion palette and then the gloss and the concealer I bought was on top. So I'm gonna give you guys a little peek. The first thing I'm going to pull out is a velvet lip trap. Now, I am not huge on lipstick. I'm, it's really out of my comfort zone and I don't feel very pretty with it. So this is a velvet lipstick. It is in the shade a Dominatrix. I think the brightness of my thing is a little bit too high. There we go, there's an ant on my ring light. So here is the velvet lipstick. It is in the shade Dominatrix. So you can see here, there is the little Jeffree Star logo on the bottom, embossed all the way up. The box, you can see it kind of like shining from my ring light. I know it's kind of hard to see on camera because it is very um, faint, but you can see it very well in person, very cute. We're going to go ahead and open this. It is a very smooth and sleek bullet design. It's very beautiful. You can't really see it on camera, but you can see it reflecting here. It says Jeffree Star at the bottom, very slick kind of deal. And it is a very, a very matte surface. It feels very nice. And then you have the color name down here on the bottom, a dominatrix. It is a magnetic packaging. So you can hear it like, Snapping back, very beautiful, very nice. And then when you, wait, no, you don't twist it on. You twist this part, and it is a gorgeous brown color. Now, to be honest, I probably will not be keeping this. So I'll probably be listing it on Depop or Mercari. So if you would like to check out what I'm listing on there, just check it out in the description box below because I'll leave a link. But it is beautiful. I have not swatched it. I have not done it because I do not believe I will be able to wear this shade. It is a imprinted with a very cool star, like Jeffree Star imprint, like his logo. And it just looks, it looks really awesome, you guys. Okay. 
his collection was called the Weirdo Collection. The red and black themed one, and it was, it's gorgeous. I mean, I love it. It's more of like, it's like the most gothic-y palette I have seen him do. So it's packed in pink bubble wrap, and then of course the tissue paper with the Weirdo custom imprint on it, along as well as his Free Star logo. This is the packaging for it. It is a matte black case with a super cool red print on the front, and a 3D, I don't know what they call this, but it says Weirdo. It can be kind of hard to uh, make out and read that font, especially on camera, but it does say Weirdo, and it's really cool, and it says Artistry Palette on the bottom, and it tells you how much it weighs and whatnot, and then on the back here, it's just got his social medias and all that, and the packaging on it is even cooler. It says Weirdo, and it's got his logo, got face on there, and it's super reflective and glossy, 3D filling, but words on there, and then so the Weirdo with the razor blade and the mini palette on top, and then here's what the back looks like. It's beautiful. Like, this palette is just so aesthetically pleasing, I can't just open it. Ah, yes. I haven't taken the cling film or anything off these mirrors and stuff, so let's just go ahead and I'm going to leave the cling film on the mirror until I get done moving houses because I don't want it. This is what it looks like. It's very, very beautiful, and I'm actually wearing most of these shades on my eyes right now. I did my makeup before this video with this palette, and it's gorgeous, let me tell you guys. Um, the shade names are Glamour Shot, Razor Blade, my favorite. You can see it on my inner corner here. Silvery Pop Can color. It's Mohawk, Punk, Couture, Weirdo, Only Child, 1985, Freak Show. Oh, you can't even say it. Freak Show. And then Scene Queen. And let me just, let me swatch Razor Blade for you. Like, Jesus, it's, it's something. Let me just get a little finger full and just... Oh man, yeah, you can- I'm so white, I feel like I washed a lot of things out on camera, like where I'm very, very translucently pale. But it's- let me tell you guys, you can see it when you place it with other colors on my eyes right here. It's beautiful, like it stands out so- it's gorgeous. And then the shades I have displayed on my eyes right now are Glamour Shot, which I used to blend up into my brow bone, Only Child, uh, Scene Queen, Freak Show, and Weirdo. I use Scene Queen as a base just to go all over my eyelid. Only Child I use down in the uh, middle, and then Freak Show I use in the back, and then I smoked it out with Weirdo. And it's, guys, it's beautiful. These, I'm telling you, these powders blend so well. Of course, the mirror is very cute. I love the little design. supporting small businesses while also getting cute adorable plushies handmade beanies and other apparel well then have i got the shop for you here at cuties by jade we are a one woman ran business full of handmade cuties all made by yours truly with lots of love if you check out my shop i release new items on the third of every month if not more and everything even comes super cutely packaged and it's shipped as quickly as possible Besides the items that I've already got listed in the shop, I can also do customized plushies, hats, all sorts of stuff just for you. So please feel free to check it out. I think it's the crematory palette release or crematory release or something like that. I forgot exactly what it's called, but I'll put the name right here. But I'm pretty sure it's crematory, but it is a gloss or the gloss, I should say, in the shade of six feet under right here. And it is absolutely cool. Like the, the packaging looks so cool. And I love um, 3D look of the words right here. So here is this one, and oh my gosh, guys, I love his packaging for these. Like the the top and everything, it's just, I don't know what to say, it's so beautiful. It's like this very, you can't really see it on camera because it's not really reflecting the rainbow very well, but this part right here actually reflects like opalite. If you've ever seen an opalite necklace or opal necklace or whatever, it reflects rainbowy or like in shades of blue and purple rather than just white. So the next thing we're gonna pull out here, and it has a little cauldron on top. Let's see, what was the name of this? It is the Velour Lip Scrub Witch's Brew, and it has a little green cauldron on top and it's really cool. I, I believe this was released with the Weirdo palette in his Weirdo collection. I'm going to assume that anyway because it's black and red pack, but it's really, really cool. And then this is what it looks like. Guys, it looks so neat. It says Velour Lip Scrub Witch's Brew and it's really, really cool. I love the top. It almost looks like a grinder. I heard my dog moving around and scared. And it's got little red imprinted stars on the top. Really freaking cool and they're reflective. I thought because it's black all the way around, I thought the lip scrub would be black because it looks black from the outside, but now when you open it, it's actually green. And guys, it's like it doesn't really have a strong scent or anything like that it kind of just smells like vanilla i will say that it doesn't really smell like anything like vanilla and sassafras like if you've ever had those lemon drop candies or something that's what it smells like oh this is a velour liquid lipstick while the other one was a velvet trap this is a velour liquid lip now i believe i don't really know much about the lipsticks because i don't really follow the lipstick like too much here's the packaging very cute i've already opened it at the bottom the weirdo shade pull it in it is so cool in the packaging i cannot wait to try it i haven't even opened it yet it almost looks like it has a, a brown tint but like when you hold it up to the light and stuff like this or on camera but when you hold it like right here you can see that it's actually a matte black or not matte black you you know what i mean 
I'm sorry for the puppy you can hear crying in the back of the videos. I have him laying down for a nap as I do in all my videos when I'm filming because they like to tear up everything and I like to supervise them when they're out and I can't when I'm filming. So here is a, another Supreme gloss. This one is in the shade Wifey and the packaging is a holographic pink and it's super cute. I love when his stuff is like all pink and like pastel. Like this is like a milk pink shade. So here is the shade Wifey. It is a, it looks kind of bright red on camera but in person it is a much more like brick red with orangey undertones like more of an orangey neutral feel uh it has the cream gloss stamped on it in gold and then the jeffree star in, um, logo and jeffree star cosmetics on top very very pretty so let's see the thing i was so excited to get i was really hoping i was going to get i'm not gonna lie i saw other people opening their boxes before i even bought them because they got their halloween boxes already and i was watching them open them but the thing i was super excited to get was this little halloweeny bag i was kind of hoping i didn't know if there's other color variations or not but it has orange on the front but that's still pretty cool too but i wish it wasn't red or pink but it's still really really cool now the thing i love most about this bag is the freaking bat wings on it it's so cute and the thing i hate most about when you buy new leather bags and stuff like new like leather things is that they smell really gross this does not smell at all and i've kept it in the wrapping and everything and it like it doesn't stink really bad or like have that strong factory smell but you can see the wingies on the front and the wingies on the back and then it has the gold zipper right here and you can just open it like gosh guys i would even wear this as a handbag and then it has a little of this on the inside which we're gonna just set to the side guys this thing is so cute i was really hoping i would get one in my box I'm pretty sure everyone who got a halloween box got one of these a lot of editing this is already half an hour long so when i saw the pink wrapping paper on this i was like huh i hope i didn't get another bible like i didn't think i was gonna get another pink religion thing in this i was really wanting the holy mist out of the pink religion set, but your girl didn't have enough fun oh i remember what this is gosh i forgot this was in this box i was so excited to see that i had gotten this and not the blue version. It is the blood sugar palette. I actually thought there was a rumor going around that he was going to stop selling these. I'm not sure if that's true or not. But it has the logo on top and the blood sugar palette a white box. And you guys, like, this thing's so cool. It says blood sugar on the top and it is in a faux leather kind of, it's not a very thick leather, but it is a faux leather like briefcase kind of deal. It's really cool and it's really heavy. Like I, I do see one flaw on the front of the blood sugar palette. Um, One of the white letters actually has a little bit of red right there where it hasn't been like uh, the decal was put on wrong or something like that. It's just a tiny little spot though, so I'm not concerned about it, but it's absolutely beautiful blood sugar. And then we're gonna open it up, the latches, and now we're just going to open now i don't think this one no this one is not a magnetic one like the other ones are so we're just gonna open it ah yeah where it's cold in here you, where the shadows have like made little foggy imprint and all that stuff but still beautiful now i will be keeping this palette i do like the shades and everything it's a very um i don't know how to describe the texture in the actual inside of it but i love it it does look like one of the pans are sitting in here a little bit weird this one right here I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of jutted out just a little bit. Uh, the shade names to this are Blue Coat, Sugar Cane, Cake Mix, Out, Donor, Intravena, Sandy Law, Town Pop, Sweetener, Cabin, O Positive, Root Canal, Prick, Cherry Soda, Fresh Meat, Blood Sugar, Extraction, and Coma. I think the one I like the most is Candy Block. I, I think I like that one the most. It's very beautiful. I like, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I like when he includes a white shadow in a lot of his palettes. I know people are like, but it's a repeat. I like that he includes it because it serves as a blender for me personally because I am so pale. I can actually just use it as a blender. The donor looks really cool. It's coming to an end! But I don't want it to. Mm. Okay, we've got two things left. So this thing will be listed for sure on my Depop and Maricari. It is the volume two of the Jeffree Star Cosmetic um, Nude Lip. It is the open hair for nudes. I love that on the front right here, open hair for nudes. It is volume two of the Mini Velour Liquid Lipstick. It is the entire collection for volume two. Let's just go ahead and open it so you guys can take a peek on the inside. It showcases each and every liquid lip on here. Let's see, we've got the names on um, Nude, Birthday Soon, Top Shelf, Christmas Cookie, Hidden Hills, Dominate, tricks family jewels and tasty now i <laughs> will never wear these which is why i'm putting them up i have not swatched them i have not opened them as is the deal with all of mine but let me pull out one of these so you guys can just have a little up close look the packaging is flawless the way it sits in there makes you feel like you're buying something from gucci so if i'm going to just pop one out here and it even has a plush foam velvet in the back holding these things so let me go ahead and open this up so it is a, not open but you know hold this up it is a mini this is the shade i'm nude 
but it's just very very beautiful like this matches my skin tone almost and it's very very cute and I just I love it I, I really do but even the box has like this really nice feel to it it's not cardboard it's like a velvet mat it's back over here and the last thing I'm going to show you guys is the t-shirt I got so I got a t-shirt and an extra large because I wanted to wear it throughout my pregnancy because it's a really cool shirt when I saw other people having it so I got it in a bigger, like way bigger size. I think it went a little too big because where they're more unisex. And it has the coolest print on the back. It's a little hard to read. Can you guys see it? It is like this really cool spider web design with a black widow, I think. And this is so freaking cool. I can't wait to pair this with my butterfly undershirt or like some kind of cool mesh undershirt. So this is definitely a win for me, especially when it includes apparel in there. I, I wish I would have got it in a little bit of a smaller size. Because after this baby pops out, this thing's gonna be huge on me, but whatever. <laughs> okay, this is 100% cotton. It is not a polyester blend. So, and it feels very, very good. And the print, I mean, they feel like very good quality. I love it. So that is totally a win for me, especially when it comes to this shirt. Future Tyler here. I just wanted to take a quick second to show you guys the price comparison of how much it would be to buy these items individually versus getting a mystery box. And I gotta say the results are pretty cool. So with that being said you guys that leads us to the end of the video. I haven't got anything more in my box sadly. My two favorite things that came out of this palette is definitely the weirdo and the bat pouch. Come on the weirdo palette is so cool and so is the pouch. I'm really glad I got the blood sugar palette in red though. I love it. I've always wanted it. I could never just bring myself to buy it on like the bible thing because I I really wanted the pink religion palette. But with that being said, that is the end of this video. But this is my favorite. <laughs> I have this around forever. If you wouldn't care, please don't forget to check out my social medias down in the description box below and my shop. I sell super cute things there. Like all sorts of cute things like my bear hat and all that good stuff and bees. Who doesn't like bees? Also, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed today's video. I have much more like it come. I do a blend of different kinds of arts on here. To me, makeup is art, so I really like doing review videos on makeup here as well because I do enjoy doing it. Also, don't forget to comment down below what you guys would like to see from me, all that good stuff. I will see you guys next week. Bye!